Hi, my name is Christopher Argueta. I'm one of the lab tutors here at MDC Magic. And today we're going to talk about the flower sack uh, and animating a flower sack. Uh, I have a couple reference images here um, just to kind of give you a good understanding of uh, the flower sack exercise. Uh, but the main thing you want to keep in mind is uh, the point of the flower sack is to breathe life into just about anything uh and they use a flower sack because it's a simple shape and whether or not it looks believable uh is just pretty much based on your animation or like how well you use your animation uh I think we're going to see if we can put these on the YouTube description because uh, they're pretty good images. Uh, this one's just kind of a storyboard. These two I like a lot. Uh, but let's get right into it. So let's have uh, your Adobe Animate open. Uh, and then you're going to create a new uh, 1080, 720, doesn't matter. Uh, I did 1080 at 1920 uh, with 24 frames per second here. Uh, and you want, the most important thing is that you get the 24 frames per second. Uh, that's pretty much like the industry standard for animations. Uh, so I'm going to go to what I already have. And uh, we could take a look, break it down. Uh, to give you an idea of uh, how you want to get started, all right? Okay. Yeah, so a little simple short animation uh, comes into scene. Uh, try to give him like a little pent up running start. Any trips and falls flat. Uh, if you aren't familiar with uh, Adobe Animate yet, you can start by creating a new layer. Uh, I would make the ground layer first, which is just uh, grabbing the line tool and then just dragging a black line across. You don't need a floor, but uh, it'll probably help give you like a sense of uh, where your drawing is. It's not floating in space. Uh, and then from there, you want to hold down left click on this little circle here and make sure it's set to blank keyframe and auto keyframe. Uh, this is just so that you can start drawing something here and then move over here and draw another thing. Uh, because if you have it set to regular keyframe, it's just going to add on top of that. So the, the previous drawing won't go away. It's just to save you time. Uh, outside of that, you also want your onion skin, which uh, is the this thing that you see here. You can see like your previous drawing and the drawing ahead. Uh, that just helps kind of give you an idea of where you want to place things. Uh, and then you're good. You're set to go. Uh, everything else is pretty much just drawing a square. Uh, focusing on like stretching it out, trying to keep it to the same sense of scale. Uh, I colored one side just so that it will help people seeing it for the first time uh, tell which side is which. Uh, you could do that if you wanted to. I don't think the other drawings did that. Let me see. They didn't. Uh, yeah, a lot of it is just uh, kind of form. There's no right or wrong way. You just keep drawing until... I I would say don't draw with something in mind just kind of 
make a shape and then go with it. Uh, which is kind of what I did here. I just started drawing something falling. And then just kind of was like, well, what if it started sprinting? And what if it fell? Uh, there really is no way to, to teach kind of like how to draw. Uh, there's a form here, you know? I, I guess you want to keep in mind like the weight since it's a flower sack. Uh, or a, you know, bag of sand or potatoes. You know that once something hits the ground, thanks to gravity, it's going to kind of, like, crumple down. Uh, and then I kind of wind it up for uh, something sprinting. You know, usually you want to put all that pressure into your back foot here when you uh, start to break off into a sprint. And then if you've done the walk cycle exercise before, uh, you know that one foot goes in front of the other and you you bounce up and down when you're in the air. Uh, and then here, I guess you have what's called a follow through, uh, which is like, I think it's implied the flower sack was going pretty fast. So it, uh, you know, just carries that speed as it's sliding on the floor. Uh, yeah. Most of it is just drawing with the brush tool here. Uh, brush and eraser. The onion skin helps a lot. Uh, and then the second thing you should look out for would be these, uh, these keyframes here. Uh, yours might look a little different. I think it probably looks more like this. Uh, I'm not sure why mine came out in preview mode, but that's fine. Uh, thanks to the blank keyframe, every time you draw, it just automatically records your drawing when you start drawing. Uh... So here, when you want something to move fast, you try to give it as few keyframes as possible. See how I'm at frame 1, frame 2, frame 3, frame 4, frame 5. This is just seven drawings stacked together. And then the longer pause you have, the more empty frames you have in between one drawing and the next, uh, the longer the pause. Uh, and you want to give pause in your animation to kind of... Uh, give time for the viewer to understand what they're looking at or sometimes you want it to like uh, really emphasize an action like starting a run so in the beginning I want it to go fast and then in the middle I kind of want it I want the viewer to have a moment to kind of understand what's happening uh and it doesn't have to be uniform. See how here I have it just a little bit longer? Because I really wanted to emphasize the start of that run. And then the fall, uh, because it's, you know, just a slide on the ground, uh, I also made the frames closer because it's just a smooth little slide on the floor, you know? So yeah, and if you're not satisfied with something, most of this is just like uh, seeing things with your eyes. Uh, you can always just draw. It gives you space to draw in between the things as well. Uh, and you're not limited to like a certain keyframe time. If you need more than two seconds or you want to you wanna make it longer where it's like two seconds and five frames, uh, I don't think... I don't think anyone will deduct points or, uh, it, it, I don't think it'll take away from your animation or drawing, uh, doing that. But, 
Uh, yeah. That's pretty much it. It's a very simple exercise. Takes maybe, uh, about an hour. Uh, give or take. Depending on how familiar with the program you are. Uh, but yeah, it's just four tools. Paintbrush, eraser, knowing your timeline, and the line tool. Alright, uh, that's it for this tutorial, and I'll see you in the next one.